Assalamu alaikum. Let's learn how to translate words into algebraic expressions. Let's take an example. You will be given words and you have to convert them into algebraic expressions. The thing is you need to read the statement two to three times and then write accordingly. The sum of a number and six. This sum means basically addition. So sum of a number. This number can be any number in algebra, any letter starting from A, B, C to X, Y, Z. So the sum of a number that can be any number, for example, N and 6 and 6. This is the answer. This is the algebraic expression. The difference of a number and 2. The word difference basically means minus. You can use the word subtract or any other uh, word that can fit over here. The difference of a number and 2. Different means minus. Of a number can be any number. And two, the difference of a number and two. Let's come on to the third one. The product of a number and five. Now this product means multiply. The product of a number again means any number, right? Multiplication in the center. Any number can be n and five. But in algebra, we write the number first and the letter later on okay there is no need to write the multiplication sign in algebraic expressions if there is no sign in the center it automatically implies that there these two uh, things are being multiplied divide a number and seven again the division sign will be there Divide a number, a number again, any number, and 7. Let's come on to some bigger examples. Add 10 to the product of A and B. In this, it's written add. Add 10. You have to add 10 to the product of A and B. Now, they have given us the letters. To the product means to the product of A and B, you have to add 10. But again, as I told you earlier that this product sign will not come, it is understood that these two are written together because there is a multiplication in between them. There is the multiplication operation. So it will be written like this. Add 10 to the product Product means multiplication of the letters A and B. Three times a number subtracted from 20. Three times. Times again means multiply. A number. Three times a number can be written as three times a number. Any number N. But I will not write this multiplication sign. Three times a number subtracted from 20. So it means that this number will be subtracted from which number? From 20. You really have to read and understand the word statement thoroughly before writing it into an algebraic expression. 16 added to the square of a number. 16 added 16 is added to the square of a number this number can be any number i am taking n throughout square of a number means that there will be a square at the top of the number so 16 added to the square of a number means n square plus 16 hope you understand this